Hello and welcome. Today I'd like to tell you about Susie Wandas. I was doing some shopping. I don't know what I was looking for, but this book came up. It was for sale by Abbott's Magic. That's where I picked it up. I really didn't see it for sale anywhere else. I think it is for sale now in other places, but I got it from Abbott's Magic and I'm glad I did. It's a hardbound book. Uh, it doesn't come with a dust jacket. The, the actual hardbound book has everything in it. I don't like dust jackets personally. I take them off. Sometimes I put them back on. Sometimes I just trash them. They tend to annoy me, but I love it when a book is produced like this. But let me tell you a little bit about Susie Wandas. She was born in 1896, and she was born into a show business family. Her dad had a traveling caravan. I mean, this, is, this has been a fantasy for mine since forever. The idea of going from town to town in the caravan, setting up a tent, attracting a crowd, doing a show. This is the way this young lady grew up. When she was old enough to stand, they put her in the show. She took to magic right away. Now, one of the things she did that I thought was fantastic in this book, she played the violin at a very young age. She played the violin. She played it well. But to stand on stage and play the violin, that's not what, the, what show people really wanted. They wanted something a little different. So she danced and did acrobatics while she played the violin. Now, for those of you that have watched this channel, you've probably seen me reference Lindsey Sterling. I'm a huge fan of Lindsey Sterling. Well, Lindsey wasn't the first one to dance while she played the violin. And I'm not sure that Susie was either, but that's how Susie started in show business. Very quickly, she took to magic. She got to see T. Nelson Downs perform live. In fact, she got to be mentored by him. She saw Talma perform. Uh, and, and she really took to magic, and she took to it naturally. She became a great... In fact, the, the subtitle of the book, Susie Wanda's The Lady with the Fairy Fingers. They called her that because she was so good at manipulation. Now, this is a great book. It tells a great story, a great biography. By the way, Susie was born in 18, 1896. She passed in 1986. So she lived a very good, long life, and she performed through most of that time. She always wanted to come to America, and she eventually did. Uh, but one of the things I love about this story, not only is it, a, is, is it an inspirational story, which I think most biographies are and have the potential to be, but this, unlike most magical biographies that I read, uh, with the possible exception of Carter the Great, Carter the Great... Carter just missed being on the Titanic. Just missed it. And that is an interesting anecdote in the Carter biography. But Susie, uh, Susie was European. And um, the impact of World War I and then of World War II on her, her family, and her career is, is just stunning. Uh, and the details of, of life during that time come through. One of the things that, one of the criticisms I would make of, of magical biographies is that they focus on the magic to the exclusion of everything else. But in this book, you get a lot of historical detail coming through and how what was going on in the culture and in the world around her impacted her career, it made her adapt, it made her change, it made her change directions. Uh, she started out working with her family in the traveling show. Her father died suddenly, and her mother had to take over the show, and she did. And, and, uh, and then uh, her brother went off to war in World War I. He dropped out of the show. Her sister joined a convent, became a nun. She dropped out of the show. So eventually it was just the two ladies. It was her mother and herself, and they did a duet. And, uh, and then they, 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 because the family was leaving, they, they sold the caravan. They went into traditional theater. And then once vaudeville basically died... Uh, Susie's mom retired and Susie went on to have a solo career after that. So it, it, is a, it, it is a story that is impacted by world history. And so if you're a fan of world history, you're going to get a lot of it in this book. 
I highly recommend it to you. Uh, Susie Wanda's The Lady with the Fairy Fingers. Take a look, check it out, you won't regret it. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, please subscribe and please comment down below. And if you're inclined, send me an email, david at daviddelman.com. Thank you so much. Have a great day.